So today we're going to look at a photo that has been associated with Elvis Presley's concerts in 1975 on Long Island at the Nassau Coliseum when Diana Goodman toured with him. I've seen a few internet sites that have linked this photo with that 1975 tour. It is a photo of fans surrounding Elvis's limo and the next photo shows Elvis and Diana inside a limo. But I have found evidence that those two photos do not belong together. There are two obvious things that stand out to me that would place the fan photo at a different place in time. First, looking at the skyline in the background of the photo, it is obvious that this photo was neither taken by the Nassau Coliseum or the Hilton JFK Airport Hotel. Both of those areas are somewhat residential. The other telltale sign is the building on the right where it says Horn and Hardit. Horn and Hardit were a chain of automat cafeterias. Horn and Hardit established their first automat cafeteria in the U.S. in June of 1902 at 818 Chestnut Street in Philadelphia after being the first non-Europeans to receive patented vending machines from a factory in Berlin. The first New York automat opened in Times Square on July 2, 1912. The original Horn and Hardits were extremely opulent and advertised as a place to get convenient and delicious food while shopping. It was a precursor to fast food restaurants, and many famous movies featured automats as a place to meet and eat, such as Easy Living starring Joan Crawford, Mr. 880 starring Burt Lancaster, The Cated Affair with Debbie Reynolds, A Touch of Mink starring Doris Day, and it has also been seen on television episodes of That Girl starring Marlo Thomas, and more recently in the television series Agent Carter, where the main characters often meet at an automat in New York City. There she is. Hmm? Ooh, that girl I splashed. Connie? Connie? Where are you? In the cucumbers. Hi. You know you're the first face that smiled at me today. After extensive newspaper search, I was able to place this specific Horn and Hardit through two 1969 ads in the Daily News. That unique design is shown um, to be located on 8th Avenue and 33rd Street in Manhattan. There would be no reason for Elvis to be on 33rd Street, Manhattan, to perform a concert on Long Island. And the fact that he was coming in via the Lisa Marie from Ohio to Long Island, it was more than likely he stayed closer to the airport like he used to like to do, and this just would not make sense. Also, Diane Goodman did not join Elvis until he reached New York. Therefore, it is safe to say that this photo was actually taken in 1972 when Elvis performed at Madison Square Garden. This road is directly behind the garden where the 33rd Street artist's entrance and exit would be located. Also, it would be en route to the New York City Hilton, where he stayed during his famous 1972 Madison Square Gar Garden concerts. So, another piece of Elvis history is explored. If anyone knows who some of the young fans are surrounding Elvis's limo, please leave a comment. Or if you enjoyed the video, I would love to hear your feedback. Thank you.